Dear friends, Namaskar. Now we are going to discuss about the, the important topic expert system, especially expert system in agriculture. Before that, seeing that the detail about the expert system, what are the, the module structures we are going to see in this module presentations. First, we are going to see about what is objectives of the module, introductions and importance of the expert system, component of the expert system, what are the important component involved in the expert system, capability of the expert system, especially what are the capability of expert system in different sectors. Then what are the important expert system development stages, one by one stages also we are going to see. Then steps to create expert system, step 1, step 2, step 3, what are the step 1, step 2, 3 steps also we are going to see in the expert system development. Then advantage and a disadvantage of expert system, especially while we are using in agriculture extension. Then what are the challenges we have to force you? while using as well as developing the expert system. Then how the expert system can be effectively utilized in agriculture, especially in agriculture extension. Finally, we are going to conclude on how we can take this expert system further for the benefit of our farming community. Let us see first the objectives. After going through this module, anyone can understand the concept and the importance of expert system, especially in agriculture sector. Then after going through this module, you will easily understand what are the components involved and the designs to be followed for developing the expert system. Then you will know that you know application of expert system in agriculture. Dear friends, before discussing that you know detail about the expert system. Now we will see what is artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence otherwise called AI, it is a defined as a computers with the ability to mimic or duplicate the functions of the human brain. Normally AI will produce the machines for the you know producing the decisions, knowledge, problem solving and other important you know problem solving component for the benefit of the, the human being. So normally that AI is having broad areas under that AI artificial intelligence there are you know that vision, algorithms, recognitions, artificial neural network, natural languages that is a speech and the expert system. So, expert system is coming under you know artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence is a broad area under which the expert system is one of the component. So right now we are going to discuss about the expert system. So what is expert system? So expert system is a computer program. It is a computer enabled program designed to model the problem solving ability of the human expert. Example, if if we want to get that expert advisory for the agriculture, we need to always contact that you know expert like agriculture scientist or extension worker for getting that advisory services. But if you really analyze today's you know the situation especially agriculture extension, if you want to get that timely advisory services for your day to day agriculture activities, it is not possible to contact or meet that scientist or extension worker all the time because they are short supply in nature. Instead, if you develop the expert like expert system and if you put into the online as well as offline, it will solve the problem of the limited extension personnel and the text farmers can very well use the expert system for all the times for taking the timely decisions. That way the expert system very important in the present agriculture extension scenario. So, what are the important component of the expert system? So we, if you are not knowing that expert system component, you cannot develop the expert system. So that is a learning that component of expert system is a very, very important. So there are five component important component. The one is a user interface. The second is a explanation facility, working memory, interface engine, 
and the knowledge acquisition facilities. These components I will explain with a suitable diagram. So, if you see that diagram, you will understand the component of expert system. The first is a user, who is a user of the expert system? So, user of the expert system is normally our former extension worker, even the general public or any stakeholders who normally wants advice services in agriculture extension. Then another important component is a user interface. So, who are using that expert system? The person, how, how he giving that you know text or visuals or image in the form of queries to the computer system through that interface engine for getting that appropriate decision from the expert system. That you can call as a user interface, how user interface with the expert system shell and other important component that you can call as a user interface. The second component is a the explanation mechanism, otherwise you can call as a justifier. How that you know that uh, appropriate solution or appropriate queries will be picked from the inference engine for the benefit of user, that process will be taken care of the explanation mechanism. It is just like a the process mechanism, it will process the user interface as well as the computer knowledge base and based on the user interface, user queries it will pick up and will give the best possible solution to the users. And third is the inference engine, otherwise you can call as here the heart of expert system. The expert shell also can be called. So, in that inference engine that appropriate program is being written using that appropriate rules normally if and then rules program is followed in developing that inference engine. This is a heart of the expert system. Then finally, you know the database otherwise you can call us a expert system memory. This is a very important component in the expert system. So, based on your topic of expert system, you have to scout the relevant content from the various sources. Suppose if it is a pest or diseases, we have to scout the pest and diseases content from the books, validated records, sometime from the institutions, sometime from the farmers field and we have to validate and we have to develop as a rule and put into the database that you can call as a knowledge base or the database of fact. So, these things we have to interface with the inference engine, then only that explanation mechanism will pick up the best possible solution for the benefit of the user inference. The other people who are you know in, involved important component as an important component the expert system is here the knowledge engineer and the domain expert. The domain experts normally subject matter specialist and the knowledge engine normally the computer scientist who develop a queries and you know the program as a expert system shell and he will give the interface between the knowledge base and ex explanation mechanisms. So, these are the important component normally we are following in all type of expert system right now. So, based on that again I will tell you that how the expert system shell is functioning. If you see that you know this diagram as a user, as a farmer, if I give any input as a query or as a knowledge to the system, it will go to the expert system shell and it will analyze this. Suppose if you want to get some advisory services for the pest, it will tell you whether that you know your leaf is affected in the upper part or lower part or leaf is turning into the yellow or brown and based on the one by one screening, finally system will screen that you know appropriate problem and based on the problem it will pick up the best possible solution available in the knowledge base and give back to the user via that inference engine as well as explanation stage. So, this is important component in the expert system cell. So, now we are going to see about the, the knowledge acquisition facilities. So, this is very important. Knowledge acquisition facilities is nothing but the scouting content from the various sources by the 
domain expert and he will process validate and put into the knowledge base with the help of the knowledge engineer. So, who are the participants in the expert system development? Normally, already we discussed the first one is a knowledge user, normally it may be a farmer or it may be extension worker, then knowledge engineer who is always computer specialist, he will develop a queries program for the benefit of the expert system development shell and a domain expert, normally he is a subject matter specialist, his job is to scout that appropriate content and validate the content and he will work with the expert knowledge engineer. If you, if you want to develop the expert system, the three people have to work simultaneously, then only you can develop a expert system. Then you should know the capability of the expert system also, what capability it will give to the, the stakeholders, that also you should know. First one is explore impact of the strategic goals, the strategic goals can be processed using the expert system. Then impact of plans on resources, the resource planning how that optimized resource can be used for agriculture. Then integrated general design principles and manufacturing limitations. So, this normally used in the you know automatic sectors as well as aeronautic sectors. Then it will provide that advice on the decision normally we are using in the agriculture. Then monitoring quality and assist in finding solutions. This is very useful in the aero plan. If any problem in the aero plan, the system will automatically detect the problem and report to the pilot that capability is having that expert system. The look for causes and the suggested solutions, these are the important capability of expert system. Then expert system development stage, there are important five stage, first one is identification, conceptualization, formalization, implementation and testing, we will see one by one. The first one is identification here, first we have to analyze the task what type of task we have to take and what are the requirement we have to take in the form of input and output, what are the input and output we have to scout and where to use the expert system and what are the cost and the time frame involved and sell, what type of domain expert and knowledge engineer we have to choose for developing that expert depending upon the topic we have to choose the domain expert as well as knowledge engineer. The second stage is a conceptualization after deciding the top topic of the expert system we have to designing the proposed program how to develop and how to develop that knowledge that is a knowledge acquisition stage, how to collect the content from the various sources and the knowledge engineer has to understand what type of expert we have to give through that expert system, that is a very, very important. Then identify that knowledge source required by the domain expert, these things are coming under the conceptualization stage, after conceptualization we have to formulate that expert system. It involves the formalization involves the key concept, sub problems and information flow into the formal representation. And here we are going to develop a, the structures otherwise you can call as a expert system shell. Knowledge engineers to build a set of the interrelated tree structure by using algorithms, by using if and the rules program, by using appropriate softwares. And there are two stages of formalization, here the refinement of knowledge pieces into the specific relationship and hierarchy, whatever the content you scout, you have to put that knowledge in the form of different pieces suited to the rules and to suited to the what type of expert you are going to get. The more accurate determination of expected user interaction with the system, these are the important stages in the formalization stage. Another one is implementation. So, how to implement that expert system after getting all that you know plan content and how to structure that ex expert system and how to implement as planned. So, here formalized knowledge is mapped or coded using appropriate program into the framework, the framework otherwise you can call as a expert system cell for developing the appropriate expert system tool. Here you are going to develop a working prototype of expert system and you are going to check each and every queries while we implementing that expert system shell. So, that knowledge and you know the rules should synchronize together then only it will work properly. And finally, the testing stage is very, very important and here you have to verify the individual relations of each and every rules then only the expert system will give the desirable solution to the users. And the validation of the program, validation is very, very important. 
So, you have to validate the expert system with the help of concerned expert and concerned stakeholders. Then only it will be corrected and you will get a correctness, consistency and completeness of the rules and you can control the strategy and the solving problem and the appropriateness of information about the how conclusion can be arrived. These are the involved in the testing stage. If you follow all those stage, you can get the appropriate expert system. And what are the steps to create expert system? The step one, select a domain and a particular task. After that, you select a expert system shell based on the topic and collect content and simultaneously develop expert system cell with the help of knowledge engineer and domain expert and acquire initial knowledge about the domain and the task. This is step 3 and the fourth encode the knowledge using the appropriate representation that is a mapping stage. Then execute and test the knowledge one by one whenever you give the codes and the rules you have to check and test the knowledge whether it is delivering appropriate one and refine based on that you know you were testing refine the current knowledge and acquire if you need additional knowledge also for putting to the knowledge base. Then complete all the necessary interface code and document the expert system in the form of you know online as well as offline. What are the advantages? So, there are lot of advantages, advantages especially in agriculture. It can be effectively utilized by the extension personnel, researcher and the farmers to identify the crop pest disease and the nutrition deficiency. Instantly they can get advisory services also. User can e easily identify any type of pest or disease on the basis of images. It is a user friendly software, so it can be used by any people for diagnosing any difficult problem. It provides consistent answer for the repeated decisions, hold and maintain significant levels of information, reduce employee training cost is a very important advantage, centralize the decision making process, create effectiveness and reduce the time needed to solve the problem because it is available, you can take decision at time, combine multiple human expert intelligence, reduce the amount of human errors these are the advantages and disadvantages normally so lack of common sense needed in some decision making cannot make creative response as a human expert domain expert not always able to explain the logic and reasoning and uh, sometimes error may also come because it is a it, it computer system no, it will not give like a human like expert sometimes error also may come these are the some of the disadvantage of expert system and challenges in the expert system what are the challenges we have to face cost effectiveness infrastructure technical expertise we need to hire the technical people so that we have to invest lot of money we need to update the content periodically so it's a dynamic knowledge base that is also one of the challenge developing and living is a waste we have to continuously update the knowledge that is one of the important challenges in the expert system and education level of the stakeholders first we have to train that you know stakeholders to use the expert system then only it will be effectively utilized then application of expert system in the field of agriculture. There are lot of people have developed expert system in agriculture sector. We will see some of the important expert system experiment across the world. So, Mango expert system which developed as a Amar Palika used you know used only for diagnosing pest and disease in Mango and it has been written using the rule based expert system followed that you know ESTA expert system for text animation shell for developing the expert system. And another one is a rice expert system developed exclusively for diagnosis the diseases. It is also written using the rule based expert system by following the ESTA and it is followed that logic framing. Then another is a tomato expert system, it is a web based tomato expert system. It has two important components one is a informatics, it has the static information, another one is a expert system. Normally, it will be used for web based expert system, normally used for taking advisory on tomato cultivation and it has used ID3 algorithms and some optimization algorithm program for developing the expert system shell. And for database they have used MSQL database. And Rapeseed Mustard expert system, it is a purely image based, it is used for taking that you know disease, disease advisory, user, it has followed user interface, knowledge base, inference and VB6 and the MS Access 2000 as a knowledge base has been used. And the rubber board also develop a rubber expert system, uh, especially for diagnosing pest and disease. And wheat Pakistani has also developed expert system, uh, web based expert system, especially for taking some of the pest and disease related issues in wheat cultivation. So, they have used you know uh, logic way and they have asked some questions and based on the question, if you click that in appropriate button automatically 
it will screen that appropriate problem and instantly it will give that adversary services. Recently TNA has also developed expert system in 5 important crops with the help of ICR for paddy, sugarcane, banana, coconut, rocky and animal husbandry, cattle and buffalo, sheep and goat and fowl tree in 4 languages English, Tamil, Malayalam, Kannada. And here we have defined expert system in 3 component one is a decision support system, crop doctor and crop informatics. So, decision support system will give the decision for the appropriate crop cultivation issues and crop doctor it is image based expert system where even the illiterate farmers can use the crop doctor for diagnosing their pest disease and nutrition deficiency and crop informatics is here just like a monocrop. So, we have followed the rule based expert system, it is a purely image based, we have used MSQL for the database and we have used .NET for writing that if and then rules program. So, this is our expert system, right now it is available in offline and we are given to all KVKs for using that diagnosing issues. The doctor, it is a fully image based, based on you know if your, prob if your symptom is similar to your field symptom, you can take appropriate photograph in the craft doctor framework and secondary symptom, secondary symptoms automatically will be screened by seeing again that secondary symptoms, if you think that the symptoms are similar to your field problem, you can take a photograph maximum 3, minimum of 1, automatically system will diagnose the issues and instantly you can generate a report as a management practices, even you can see the delaying module in the crop doctor. So friends, so far we have seen that you know, some of the important component in the expert system and we are going to conclude. So the expert system right now normally available in English language, it should be developed in all that regional language for the benefit of Indian farmers and we have to develop expert system by including appropriate images, video and sound interface so that even the layman can use our expert system for advisory services and the expert system should be a user friendly one. So, if you give that you know text to oriented that you know the low level illiterate farmers cannot use it. So, you should be user friendly, you should be image based and we should make it available to all the villages and you should be accessed by all the farmers and stakeholders then only our objectives will be fulfilled. So, we have to put the expert system through the darling also for the benefit of for facilitating the virtual expression system. So, these are the some of the things we have to take forward uh, with this I am just concluding that you know this uh, module presentation. If you have any doubt and clarification you please ma visit manage site you can refer that learning module as well as video module for your clarifications. Thank you very much.